big personality, want to talk to everybody. Now I walk in rooms, I don't want to talk to nobody. Some of y'all meet me in the street and it's like, she funny acting. I have to remember that I, I have to respect people. Like I have people that are my customers and do coaching with me. So I have to be nice, but I've grown from a place from who and, and where I used to be. And so when he was like, oh, I know her and, you know, she loud, she never seen a camera, you know, that she didn't like that wasn't planned. I, I, I didn't plan to tell her to watch her. That's what happened in that moment. I'm sitting in a moment. And again, because now we got to talk about another table. Do y'all know how much edit? I don't know who these people are that's editing. But after I just throw somebody under the bus today, I hope somebody get fired because I came with all the receipts today, okay? Because I'm going to show all the receipts. One thing you can't do. One thing for sure and two things for certain. We ain't going to make me look crazy, right? So I had to make sure. I had to make sure, make sure that that I got these receipts because I'm getting ready to bring on a guest. And I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to slow walk y'all through what really happened so we can really get an understanding so we can really stop playing with me and really stop playing with who I am and how much growth I have had. So pause for the cause because Destiny is up next. And I hope somebody call her, text her, tweet her because I'm about to bring some people on. I'm about to bring some guests on. I, let her know. I'm about to tell it. Send, send an arrow. Send a bat signal because what we cannot do is we cannot play with me. Watch this. The tea is about to get so good. Are y'all ready for this? Are you? Because <sighs> editing is about to take place. And I'm getting ready to pull out some receipts. And I'm getting ready to put on a guest. Are y'all? I'm going to take one more shot. Are y'all ready? I'm about to tell y'all the lies that Destiny and this TV show done tried to conjure up. And, and Carlos had to be a part of it because when Destiny said that she knew me, all she did was repeat what Carlos had said on his podcast. I know her. She's had a big personality. She was loud. Girl, you do not know me. Let me take a shot. I'm going to calm myself down. You remember I said it's mood enhancing. Let me. Click the link in the bio, y'all. Get some alive. Okay, y'all ready for it? I need everybody to listen close. I need all the bloggers to start recording right now. Like, start hit the start button right now. Destiny says out of her mouth, Oh, Shanita, I know you. I want everybody to listen again. Destiny says, Oh, Shanita, I know you. I looked and I said, You know me. I need everybody to listen very closely because here go where a hard edit comes and here come where some hard receipts about to come. I say, You know me. She says, yes, white chocolate. I'm like white chocolate. The girl's name never made it to TV. I'm about to drop these receipts. I'm like white chocolate. And I say white chocolate. I say Monique because that is her old stage name. She getting ready to get on, by the way. By the way, let me edify my friend. Before we talk about my friend, because I don't know if you're trying to be disrespectful, trying to have me revisit my past like I'm embarrassed or whatever the case may be. One of my best friends who was in the room when my daughter was born used to be one of the number one entertainers in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, she was. She was a video vixen. She is known from the tip drill video. You know, when Nelly slid the credit card down her behind, that is her. You can find her in Petey Pablo video and a whole bunch of other people's videos, right? I'm trying to figure out how she got to the Love and Marriage Huntsville table. So she says, 
yeah, Monique. No, she said, yeah, white chocolate. I said, Monique? And then she says, from work, like your job. Watch this. Oh, God, I can't wait to pull out this receipt. I say out loud, and every cast member, I will call them one by one. We might have to bring Sonny. We might have to, you call anybody. I said out loud, I said, I had a job. When I say the whole table fell out, I said, I had a job. I could, I've been unemployable so long. I'm like, what job? I'm, I'm trying to process. First you say Monique. I'm going to get to why she said Monique. White chocolate. I keep calling her Monique. I'm sorry, Monique. They're calling you white chocolate. First she say white chocolate. So I'm trying to process white chocolate, but now you're trying to tell me I had a job. So I'm like, I had a job? Everybody laughed. We laughed so hard. It was a cast bonding moment because we laughed so hard. They was like, you ain't say it like that. Like, don't act like you ain't never had a job before. I'm laughing like, baby, it's been so long since I had a job. So then I tried to process in my head. I'm like, where did I work? Where did I work? Where did I work? Where did I work? So I'm like, you talking about when I waited tables? Now, let me take y'all back. When I moved to Atlanta in 2000, I moved to Atlanta because I worked in sports management. All of my players had got traded. This is factual. People know it. Uh, Ron Artest. I used to work for Ron Artest at the time. These people are going to get mad. I'm saying their name. Uh, Jerry Stackhouse. There was a bunch of players that at all one time, everybody had got traded. Life was just changing for me. So I made the move uh, to Atlanta. Shout out to Jason Terry, Janika Terry. They came through like Jesus on the main line. Some of my first family, uh, they were with the Hawks at the time. So when I came here, I'm recalibrating. I'm still working in sports management. I lived in Buckhead. I got a great personality. I used to be a Hooters girl in college. So I'm like, let me work and wait tables so I can get these shoes and purses. Because if I ever wait on the table with you, oh, I'm leaving with a 50 to to $100 tip. And I was her. So I'm, I worked a little steakhouse, a little Italian restaurant, and it was called Milan, right? There was no destiny there. We're going to get to that part. But I worked at this restaurant called Milan. So in that moment, it clicked. I was like, oh, yeah, I worked at the restaurant. Destiny now says, yeah, the restaurant. Now, we about to, I'm about to fix this right here. Do y'all know how God saved me? Do y'all know when Destiny said, oh, I know you. I said, from who? She said, white chocolate. I did what a Detroiter did, baby. Here go the receipts. I text. Can y'all see that? Can everybody see? Take a screenshot because I'm about to read it. Watch this. I'm still sitting at the table because I'm trying to figure out. She said she know me, but she said she know me through white chocolate. I text Monique and send a picture of Destiny. This Destiny, can y'all see the date? Let me move out the way. I need y'all to get the date. Hold on. Look at the date. Everybody look at the date. Can y'all see the date? iPhone don't lie. There go the, there go the date. On March 22nd, I say, who is this? Monique says, I don't know. I say, she's name dropping you on camera. Soon as I get this mic off, I'm calling you. You said to these people that you knew me on this couch the other day because you worked with me in a restaurant, da 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 I'm going to tell y'all how she got the name of the restaurant, too. But your intro to I Know You was through White Chocolate, who I text. Text number two, because I'm doing what I do. This is one of my best friends. She like, what did she say? Can y'all see it? What did she say? She like, what happened? Can y'all see? I said, I still got a mic on. <laughs> I'm going to call you because I couldn't call her. Like, she trying to find out who is the girl, what she talking about. I'm filming for, she like, who, who is Destiny? So I'm, that was the best edit I have ever seen in my life. Because 
you now go and say on a couch that I know Shanita, she was a waitress. I was a hostess. She's always had a big person. She's talking like she know me. Now let's talk about Milan. I'm going to throw you under the bus, Destiny. Because when we got back to the house, Destiny, she came in my room. Because we had to have this Detroit conversation. So I'm going to tell it all now. Check this out, Destiny. You from Detroit and I'm from Detroit. We got an underlying rule that if it's us against anybody else that I'm rocking for you. Don't even worry about it. If somebody jump on you in this house tonight, we tearing up the house. It's us against them. But until you get it right with Mel, I can't F with, I, I, I can't. I'm here for emergency purposes only, Destiny. I'm only rocking with you if something go down and I got to stand 10 toes down on how I was raised, the loyalty I know in the city that I'm from. But I, I don't have to fool with you. So when, in the midst of us having this conversation, which I had twice, I even said it on camera because I didn't want nobody to make no mistakes. I didn't want nobody to be so confused like, oh, my God, but Shanita say she don't speak to the ops or she don't speak to the en enemy. I needed y'all to know just in case something happened and it looked like I was on the destiny side. I'm from a place that if something happened, it's going to be us against them and we'll work the rest out later. Right. But when I had that conversation with her, I, I brought it up again. I'm like. I worked at a restaurant, Milan. I'm trying to figure out where I'm about to bring. I'm about to bring on my receipts. I'm bringing on white chocolate. I'm about to bring on somebody else. Destiny now hits me with the no, nah, cause I used to be around. Now she names a rapper that I know. That I know. That I know. That I know. That I got some friends that know. That I know who dated them. So now I got to place another phone call. So now I'm going to bring up witness number number two, three, four, five, because I'm about to pull up everybody on here. I now call that person. I say, hey, we know somebody named Destiny. She like, what? I can't wait to bring her on. She like, what? I said, she just said that she dated. I'm not saying a rapper name. Y'all not about to have nobody cease and desist me. I don't want to be a part of no foolery. I say the rapper's name. My best friend laughed on the phone so loud. She said, girl, if you don't stop playing on this phone. I said, no. She said she dated such and such. Do we know her? She said, Shanita, don't take the bait from that girl. And don't mention that boy's name while y'all filming. That girl did not date. Da, 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 da. I don't know what she's talking about. And I don't know her. So first up, before we continue on, I'm going to bring on... White chocolate, because she got the same text messages. Let me see if she on here. Hold on. Uh, hold on, y'all. Let me see if I can find her name on here, because she need to be on here. Hold on. Pam. I'm bringing up all the witnesses, because I got text messages, and I was making phone calls. Hey. Hey. Friend. Friend. Oh, oh God. And on these text messages, <laughs> did I not send you a message with a picture? It's on your phone. It is. Too. It and is I said, and it's on my phone. I said, do you know this girl? I don't and know that broad. I don't know that broad. I don't know her. And and when you said the first thing I said, what did broad say? Well, I didn't say broad. You know, I said the other word. But I'm like, what she say? Because then you stop responding. I was like, yo, what she did, what she say? What she say? And you was like, I'm gonna, as soon as I get off, you know, get your mic off, you was going to call me. But it was taking you forever because I kept calling back like, yo, what the bra say? I need to know. You know, like I need to get a ba babysitter. You know, what, what's, what's happening? So when you called me back, you was like, she, do we know her? So you sent me the picture. I'm like, I don't know that bra. Like I literally went way back like. Was she in the club? Like, was she on the set? You know what I'm saying? Like, where was she? Then, listen, I don't even want to call her that because then she's going to say, you know, I thought she worked in the club. I had to start calling people. What was her occupation? Because I'm trying to figure out 
where where is the where where's the association coming in? You had no video, Vic said. I don't remember her from no I, video. I don't remember her. I I don't and I went and I kept looking at her face. Like I did. I went, I looked at her face. I was like, maybe, maybe she is on the set. Like, let me go see. I don't know that bro. Like so, I, I you know, I mean what, this is what I say is bananas. This is what is mind boggling and baffling. Somebody's meeting me, interacting with me for the first time. And the first thing out of your mouth was, yeah, I know you. I say, you know me. She say, white chocolate. Who, who, who gave her my name? Like, but, why was that the mention? Of all the people, she could have mentioned. That, that's she what I'm saying. She could have named anybody. So she gonna how to, you know me? She's going to have to... How is this her, her? So this is what I felt. And friend, I'm not trying to embarrass you. Hey, we you all can't. got a pass. <laughs> no, I, this is what I thought she was trying to do. You thought it was something different. So we can be clear. My friend actually worked in the club. She danced, right? I did. I was there with her every day. What was my, this is why I definitely need to be careful. What was my job to you? She security. <laughs> what did, what did I, hold security. On. Don't get me in trouble. What did in my past? What what did I do for a living for people that bothered you? Security. Like I, I don't want to. I don't want to incriminate you. Let's just say that I'm five two, and uh, being a celebrity, I I couldn't go nowhere without Shanita, and 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 I didn't even know I needed Shanita. But I'm telling you, when Shanita showed up, people got in line. So, uh, yeah, friend, I, when you said that, I was like, oh, Jesus, please don't let the But this is why it. I thought she said it. I thought she said it because she was trying to implicate me or make me look bad that my, my best friend was a stripper or that uh, back in the day I was always around in the club or I never danced. I don't knock none of my friends. I love all my friends that right. made a way. And I just got chills. I want to edify. I'm about to cry. I made a I want to edify my I friend. I made a way. I made I'm a way. I made a way. To Hold on, friend. She I'm going to cry because Don't she'll cry. tell y'all this story. I wanted my friend out of the club. I was having an event for an NFL player. Don't say Aww. the name. And my friend had just started making t-shirts. And I said, friend, I need about two, three, four, five hundred t-shirts. I'm going to get you paid. You just started this company. Mm -hmm. Print these t-shirts and I'm going to make this player run you a check. And she did. made the shirts for me and she got paid. I said, Monique, the business person I am, that's why I got chills. I'm a coach for a reason. I said, friend, you can start Start a business out of this. You can get yeah. one cuss word, y'all. You can get your ass out of the club. <laughs> at the if club. You, if you start a business. Let me yep. fast forward because we can't be on here all night. We can't. My friend we has one of the biggest night, my friend has one of the biggest printing companies in Texas. She can print on anything, cups, coffee mugs, t-shirts, banners. Anything, any printing need that you have right now, my friend started that company and she left the club. Y'all think I'm embarrassed about my friend? You think I'm embarrassed about my friend? You think I'm embarrassed about my friend who, who got married? Yeah. I don't know what you want me to tell. If you the, tell the lifestyle. It's all right. My it's friend all right. married an NFL he, he player. So well. It's okay. My, my friend married an NFL player. My friend took the business that she thought was this big I and I showed her it was big enough to get out the club. You ain't have to be in the club. She yeah. then bought another business and has a uh, event planning uh, thing Maybe. that's always booked out. The city always running. And then last but not least, if y'all look at the top of her head, that is all of her hair. Mm -hmm. She don't have no weave. I, and yeah. she sells hair care products. Yeah. So, I do. so when Destiny said it, the only thing that I could think that came to my mind, because she said, I know you threw white chocolate from work. I'm thinking, shoot, now when I sat back and I looked, I was like, was she trying to embarrass me that my friend was a stripper? Was she trying to embarrass I mean, me maybe, that? Maybe I can see that. I can see that because people think that's something to be embarrassed of. People who ain't really about their life 
who didn't have to get it out the mud, who didn't have to hustle, they think that's something to be embarrassed about. Mm. That makes you strong. Like, I, I wish and hope and pray that don't nobody have to go through the club. That, that Whether they're a waitress, a bartender, a dancer, a dope woman, secured, whatever the hell they got to do. I hope and pray that don't no woman have to go through that. But if you do have to go through that, you damn well better have a Shanita on your side. Because... If it had not been for you, when we did the tip drill tour, I didn't ever think I was going to get out the damn club. Like, I didn't. Like, you know, when you in it, you don't think that it's going to get better. You just kind of, you just going through the cycle. But the whole time, you was like, just hang on. Just keep doing it. I was like, I think I'm about wore out on this. You know what I'm saying? And I, I thank you, friend. I thank you for, I thank you for praying on me, praying over me, praying with me. Talking me off the ledge, you know, helping me come up with resolutions to a problem. That's big because because other people don't want to help you. And I don't know this destiny. I've been reading people's call her destiny. I don't know her. I don't know. I couldn't point out in the crowd. She could run up on me and I wouldn't know her. You know, so when you're busy pouring into people with all you got, Shanita, I wouldn't give a damn what nobody say. You come in and you fill the room with energy, baby girl. Like, it ain't another you. Yeah, you got a big personality. You damn right you got a big personality. There's something to be proud of because these mouse-like people, they got to make up storylines. She got to feed off your storyline and get big. You understand? So, yeah. so, you don't worry about homegirl. I hate that. I hate that this is what... It come to these days. Everybody got to, you know, kind of get their clout off of that. But my love, you one of the, you, you are my best friend. You are the, the one of Girl, the Girl, don't lie. Me and Phaedra, and tomorrow she'll be talking about Phaedra, her yeah, best she'll be friend. calling me like, that's don't, not your best exactly. friend. Exactly. Don't, 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 like, don't have Phaedra looking for me I'm now. I'm not. I'm not. I I love Phaedra. I love Phaedra. But, but I'm, I'm real. I'm being real talk. Like you got, you have, we're lifetime friends. You know what I'm saying? I, I saw you give birth to your daughter. You did. You know what I'm saying? I, I was busy shaking the damn camcorder and hollering at the same time. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, you, you ain't for everybody. And neither am I. So guess what? You show up for the people that show up for you. Every day. And God gonna keep putting the people around you that's gonna help you and support you. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Don't worry about that because at home, girl, I don't, I, I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. I could think of a million ways why it's good for TV. I think that shit's good for TV. Excuse my language. I right. do. I think that they had to find a storyline. Yeah. Somebody, but they can't start. Somebody told I need that storyline because everybody talking about I did a little something for a check. I did not get a check. I am not on those people's payroll. So no. I no. don't want my pain and how I'm being treated to come from that. But you were exhibit one. Okay. I got some more exhibits. I okay, just wanted... well, let me wait. Let me do my shameless plug. Yes, girl. Um, look, wait a minute. Everybody can see that. Go to growthfactorhair.com. I got a story. So as beautiful as my hair is, I did lose it. That's another story. But this is, we make this product. We don't white label it. We produce it. It's for me. I use it for me. I love it. We stand behind it. Y'all go to growthfactorhair.com. Shanita, listen, I love you. I respect you. I'm honored that you're still in my life. I love your children. I love all the things. You know what I'm saying? You are a selfless person. You will sacrifice your very last to take care of everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And I hate that they just, I just feel like they picked the wrong one, baby girl. So, you know, at the end of the day, they picked the wrong one. Y'all make sure y'all go support my girl, Shanita. I support her. And then she call and say, cash up. We need some. Yes, I, I be cash up with my friends to death. I, I make y'all do. Did you buy a t-shirt for me? I did. I, okay. buy, I bought okay, a t-shirt. I was I, just making sure you had a t-shirt. I bought something. Look, that's, that's how you know that I'm. I'm okay, zip it. Hey, I'm you gone. gone. I got more receipts. We can't get out here for 30 go. hours. Go. I love you. Love call you. me tomorrow. Don't beat I, nobody up. I'm going to call you tonight. Call me tonight, okay. girl. Girl, hang up. I don't know how to kick you off. Push I'm kicking myself off. off. Bye. Kick yourself off. <laughs> Bye. Exhibit one. Oh, it's going to get good tonight. It's going to get good tonight. Exhibit A. I don't know what Destiny was talking about. I just held back, back all my tears because I really wanted to fight because of that edit. Like, if you called it out, I thought we was going to roll with it. I was waiting for my line of the year. I had a job 
I wanted to get a t-shirt that said I had a job. Like literally, I I had a job. That's what I said at the table. I was so lost. You said you knew me through white chocolate. That go white chocolate right there. That lady don't know you. Why why are you saying this girl name? What were you trying to do? What, what was you trying to prove? Because the only thing I could see out of it was you were either trying to embarrass or disrespect. You don't even call her by her government name. That girl haven't been in a club in over 24, 25 years old. We big and grown, okay? Mel is a baby compared to me, okay? I I'm, I got Mel by a decade, y'all. I don't even want to say that out loud. Like, girl, what? Like, that girl hasn't been white chocolate in for never. Girl, what? In a very long, we got children now. Like, for real? So, I, that she can answer. I can't wait for this blog. I can't wait for her to come publicly. I want her to shout it to the rooftops. I don't know if y'all looked at my, my stories the other day. I done sent her a message like, girl, stop playing with me. Like, I don't know you. And before I could send her a message, White Chocolate had sent her a message like, why are you, why are you saying that you, you know Shanita through me? And if anybody in that good old editing room that worked for OWN want to make me not look crazy, I would really appreciate it if y'all would really go back to y'all footage when she said, I know you, I said, you know me. She said, yeah, white chocolate. I say, Monique, I get to text it. She like, yeah, from work. I'm like, I had a job. So that's where the whole job thing came from. Don't sit on a couch and play with me. Don't start a world tour that you've been new Shanita and I've been loud and I've been this and I've been that. Don't do it. Don't don't include me. I'm not even a part of your class. Pick somebody else. Baby girl, you struggling from what I can see. Every beef, we about to move on. Every beef, every fight, everything you got going on is 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 just off. So we're gonna move to exhibit B. And I pray to don't you I'm I'm gonna cut off exhibit B. If she say the rapper's name, let me see if she here. Hold on. Let me see if I can get exhibit B on. Cause this is the person who I called when she said that she was dating a rapper. She came in my room. She was like, yeah, cause I know you and you was with white chocolate. I'm and we're going to get on here because I'm tired. I don't know if I care about you going to bed early. You are exhibit B. So okay. Don't say the name, Fran. I do not want no cease and desist from nobody record label tomorrow. Please I don't say do nothing. Okay, good. I just want, I just need it. Because matter of fact, scroll, you need to scroll through your text because did I, t I know I called you. I don't think I text. I called you, right? I don't know. We text and call so much. I have to look through my through my through my text. But, so. but listen, as soon as I left the restaurant scene, uh -huh. I called you and I said, "Do we know a girl named uh, Destiny?" And you said, "What? Who?" And then I, I said, <laughs> "She said that she dated a rapper because I need everybody on this live to know that my best friend is live. She." She know everybody. She done dated some of the best of the best. I ain't going to give out her resume, but she know them people. So I said, I know you know such and such. Destiny said she dated such and such. And what you say to me? Who? <laughs> <laughs> who dated who and when? Because you said that ain't even his type. Yeah, they his type, but I mean, it, a lot of women, not a lot of men's type. She might, he might have knocked her down. We don't know, if, you know. Some people, you know, when they when they be dealing with certain people, they think they go together. She might have went with him, but he probably didn't go with her. <laughs> That's probably. <laughs> and what did you say? You said out loud. You said, "Friend, don't say that man on TV name on TV," mm -hmm. and you was like. This a trap. It's a setup. Don't don't do like, it. Don't, you was like, don't fall into that. You was like, don't, don't into fall that. into the trap. Mm -mm. Don't bring his name up. She playing with you. 
Cause she didn't date him. Did you not say that? I did. I, I was like, that. how did how did that name even jump into the mix? But even when you, I think you either called me or you sent me her Instagram. Was like, do you remember her? And I was like, never, no. We've been, and I've been on these the Atlanta school. streets for a very long time. Man, so you've been in Atlanta, and what? I've been in. These Atlanta streets a very long time. What did she? Did she ever say what she did at the club, or was she? No, dating? no, no. She said, <laughs> she said I was a waitress. She was a hostess at Milan. She said Milan because I told her the name of Milan. Uh -huh. And do you know, I, Milan shut down. Yeah. But do you know how re you want to know how crazy I am? You don't know nothing that I was texting the general manager at the W. Like, I got to quit because, you know me, I'm trying to go find the receipts. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how far can we go back? Because that restaurant done changed three or four times. And they're like, oh, you know, everybody still know me. Oh, Shanita, how are mm -hmm. you? I said, I'm looking for an employee. they like, an employee at the hotel? I'm like, no, an employee <laughs> at a restaurant. they like, friend, I, I'm so, like, don't play with me. they like, an employee at a restaurant. I said, how far back can we go? They told me to call somebody back, and I'm gonna call them back. Girl, she gonna have to go. Milan done been knocked down, and put, it probably ain't even a, a restaurant there. It's probably a no. It's a, a restaurant. An apartment there. complex. I, the other day. I don't know what restaurant is, but here's the other thing that I said to her too. And mm -hmm. then I'm I'm gonna let you move on so you can go to sleep because you walking with me in the morning. Here's the thing that I said to her when I sent her a message. Let's say for giggles that I did work with her. Mm -hmm. Clearly, we still wasn't friends and you wasn't memorable if I don't remember you. Because I remember a lot of people that worked at that restaurant when I worked there. And I, it wasn't even no black people really working there. That's why I'm like, I wouldn't remember. What is she talking about? Well, I mean, one of the other things too, I mean, we'll just have to go through atlpics.net because that's going to tell it all. If you was really outside in Atlanta during the times that she say that she was, you will have an ATL pic. Anybody that's in Atlanta know that Prince got the pictures of everybody. New face, old face, new body, old body. He going to have it, okay? And if she's somewhere in them pictures... It, that might could be the confirmation, but if she ain't got it, trust me. ATL picks been, been around for a long time. We have to search back and see if she had any of the club picks, any of the any facts. It, you know, it, that's gonna fact check it right there. That's the only thing that we can go back to because that's the only site that I could think of offhand where she say that she was in these Atlanta streets like that. That. That, that that would be the proof right there. Okay, you can go to bed. I just need these people to know that from the moment this lady said that she knew me, I was on a mission to figure out. That's why I was, I, I'm so glad I got two phones. I'm like, oh, I'm texting people. I'm like, who who know Destiny? But who does that, anybody that, know that me, though? Know. Who who says that they know somebody and don't really know them and then? Now you got get called out because you absolutely have no clue who the person is. Here's this is the burning question. <laughs> I want her to go on a, a interview or a podcast. Why did you say white chocolate's name? Why? Right. Why? That that is my burning question. For what were you going? Because all of this start, she could have just said, oh, I see you around in Atlanta. I don't know, even though we didn't see. She said, I know. Keyword, no. I'm stuck on a no. I know you. And then I say, you know me. And then she say, white chocolate. I say, Monique. You get what I'm saying? They call her mm -hmm. white chocolate. I'm like, mm -hmm. Monique. I'm like, she said, yeah, work. I said, I had a job. Like it's planned, so I, I. So that's where I'm confused. At so she she said that she knew you from working at Milan, but she referenced the club. I'm confused. Was your stripper that I ain't know about, friend? <laughs> I'm glad you said that because I didn't say she was down there. Who me? Popping it. Oh, yeah, I, I said that. At her. No, I said was you. Do? No, everybody <laughs> in the world know I'm so self conscious, baby. You got to even turn off the lights with me. That ain't even my ministry. So. No. <laughs> 
Was what? you shaking something strange for a little piece of change and I ain't know? <laughs> you trying to be funny. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I said it with Monique on the phone. I felt like it was an embarrassment tactic. You know, all of us, you know, have, have a past. I, unfortunately, I wasn't a dancer. I'm not being disrespectful. I wasn't. Was I around dancers? Yes. Did I go to the club? You cannot live in Atlanta. Well, most people can't live in Atlanta. I can't say everybody, but most people can't live in Atlanta and not experience that culture, especially I moved to Atlanta in my lower 20s. So it was the prime of our life. We was all outside having a great time, but I don't remember her. But anyway, I got to keep it moving because, you know, I got to watch my time. But I just thank you, Exhibit B. Uh, for allowing me to bring you on, cause Lord. and thank you for not saying the rapper's name. Cause I would never do ever, that. He not ain't about to jump on me, young, old, or nothing. Shoot, forget that. I ain't getting in the middle of that. I was like, you dated who, girl? <laughs> you was the first one. I said, you dated who? <laughs> You dated who, girl? What? What? Oh, my God. Again, okay. She Bye. probably did date him. She dated him, but he didn't date her. He wouldn't date her back for sure. <laughs> Let's be very clear. Get off my live. Get off. I got to Bye, y'all. <laughs> hang up. Let me see how to hang, hang up, nigga. Hold on. See? Hold on. I got to watch go. the friends I bring on. <laughs> people, people cussing this up. Get off. She got to go. <laughs> that was Exhibit B. I think we can uh, pretty much move on from this Destiny saga if she wants to uh, respond because she don't want to see me. Um, uh, she don't want to see me at all because I'm going to bring receipts and she can go get every receipt that she wants to or whatever the case may be. She can run into a lot of people um in my past to say you know me now if you want to retract and say we've been in the same place at the same time got it if you want to retract and say that we have been in the same room or something like that i'm cool with that too but don't run around in these streets and tell somebody that you know me like know me and that you're able to speak on my character and who i am because that's what you try to do oh she been loud I've been knowing her for a long time. You don't know me. Don't do that. Because if you knew me, knew me, you would know not to play with me. And I, I, am, I have grown. I have grown an extreme amount. I want to take y'all back real quick and we're going to go forward. I was not the nicest person in the world. I tell everybody, if you met me pre-2015-16, I would like to apologize to you in advance. I didn't. I, I was a mean girl. I had so much money that I felt like I didn't have to be nice to anybody. Um, I felt, felt like if I didn't want you to sit at the table, you couldn't sit there. I felt like that if I didn't want to be bothered, I didn't have to. And to say it in the nicest way possible that I can say it without implicating myself or looking stone crazy I don't really know nobody that could really beat me up. And I'm not trying to be funny about that or whatever. I'm just saying I know who I am, whose I am, and who who my father was and who raised me, okay? Um, so if we're not going to keep going backwards to who Shanita used to be. Because who Shanita is now was a person that could break a generational curse in my family. Who we could say Shanita is now is somebody that didn't sell drugs, that wasn't scheming and scamming, that wasn't out here prostituting or being a stripper. Who we can say Shanita is now went to school and graduated with multiple degrees. Who is Shanita is now? We can say that found God, knew God was in her life, her whole entire life, but loved Jesus so much that it's not even funny. If we want to talk about Shanita now, we can talk about the person who found her purpose. And I know my exact reason on why I walked this earth and what it is that God called me to do. And I try to work on doing it each and every single day. That's why I keep asking y'all to buy a t-shirt from beyondthegame.org. The way that I love women I would never be the person who I used to be. I would never tear down another woman. I wake up every day 
with the goal of working with women because I work with a company where I want to impact one billion lives. I want to be able to change lives through health, through wellness, through through teaching people how to be an entrepreneur. Everybody won't join me in business. All I can keep doing is asking them. I'm about to get to part two, but I got to get this off my chest. I, I, I work with women every day to help them. Whew. Next up, what had happened? The girl at the table, when I said, how you throwing rocks at a glass house? Why y'all keep saying it's not the same thing? It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. Matter of fact, that's even worse. It's even worse. This is what I'm confused about. This is why I say this whole cast and everybody watching this show pick and choose when they want to use what's right and what's wrong and integrity. I just kept pointing it out because I'm not crazy. So you mean to tell me you're mad at Sonny who is married, keyword married, to a man that used to date somebody, friend or not friend, it don't matter. We can even say friend. That she married, hypothetically, somebody that was her friend, but they married. Y'all mad at that, but y'all not mad at a lady that's sitting at the table who's still legally married to somebody, engaged to somebody else, and want to get in on a conversation. I'm crazy. Me, I, I'm, I'm the one that's crazy for saying what I said. I, I'm the one that's crazy. And the people who keep saying that's not the same thing, I think you guys are crazy. Because I feel like it's an integrity thing. If I know my house is not in order, if I know everything is not right and certain, you sit it out. You'd be like, no, let me sit this one out. I, I can't. I don't have no room to say nothing. Right? That's like when people start judging people. You might not be a thief, but you're a liar. Be quiet, liar. Just because you don't steal, you steal bad too because you're lying. Do you get what I'm saying? So when I said that to her, it threw me because I'm like, listen, you don't sit high and look low and all of your stuff is not together. I'm confused. That's all I was saying. Like, Sonny had enough people that were already attacking her, right? And one thing that I learned through coaching by being on teams is nobody likes to be attacked all at once by a group of people. It just don't feel good. Like, Sunny, majority of the time of that trip, it, it, I, I had to be Team Sunny because I didn't want it to feel like she was fighting for her whole life, the entire. Like, if you've never been in a situation where it felt like everybody was against you and you were by yourself, you wouldn't understand. Matter of fact, if you got some siblings, then you understand. Because anybody that got siblings know that siblings take turns ganging up on who they want to gang up on for the moment. And then the one sibling that they ganging up on, ooh, thank you for the badge. I need that money. All that money is going, because y'all going to lie and say y'all didn't know how to donate to be on a game. Just buy a badge. Um, y'all know how it is when siblings, they decide they're going to gang up on this one, right? And then you got one kid or you the person that was crying because everybody done ganged up on that one person. And that one person, whether they did it or not, they just so hurt. They don't know what to do. Now, imagine being an adult and knowing that if you act out, spaz out, that the, the repercussions is you going to jail or, or you doing something that you regret. That That's what Sonny was sitting in. So in that moment, I'm not about to sit at the table and let a whole table attack her. And then you throwing rocks from a glass house. I'm like, my girl, how are you even saying anything? Like, I'm not in your business. They were like, you got so much to say. You you in everybody business. You showed up. No, I'm just using common sense. Like, you just can't sit me at a table and ask me not to use my brain. Uh, they were sending me clips. Again, I'm watching. Y'all were sending me stuff on TikTok. I was watching my face the whole time. I was sitting there like this, like. Like, I was mind boggled at so much stuff they were saying oh and i'm gonna get to the other part when they said why am i so quiet now like i was being quiet because 
I, 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 no, I'm going to get to that. But let's just finish up with old girl who married and engaged. To clear that up, I just said don't throw rocks at a glass house. I didn't say who, it's like the Bible. I didn't say whose sin was worse or whose situation was this and that. I wasn't judging none of these situations. I'm saying stay out of it. Stay out of it. You got a whole husband, fiance, go work your stuff out and then double back and then tell somebody what to do in their relationship because clearly you don't know what to do in yours because I don't know them people, but one thing for sure and two things for certain is I know when two people want to get a divorce, they're going to make it happen. Somebody's going to make something shake. They, they don't have to sit in it and no disrespect, but I don't think them people got a billion dollars worth of assets that they have to to try to figure out assets and I'm not in a business or whatever. I don't know if they have children or whatever, but I, I don't know how complicated it could be that you have a fiance and you married at the same time. I, I just couldn't process that. So can y'all please, please stop that one. Just stop it. Y'all tear me up in the bottom of them comments talking about, Oh, it ain't the same thing or whatever the case may be. I'm moving right along. I'm going to get to when Destiny said what she said to Mel about respectful cheating. But can we double back again just to Sonny? Because when Sonny was sitting at that table, I, I kept looking at Sonny like, as a matter of fact, the whole, whole trip. I think I seen Sonny on the live. I kept telling Sonny the whole trip, girl, why are you arguing with these people when you married to the man? I would have been tap dancing on them. Sonny, I would have been singing songs and laughing. I don't care how you got him. He, you got him and he chose you. That's it. That's between you, him, and God. No matter how y'all got there. No matter who mad. And I don't know who makes it their whole storyline that they want somebody that don't want them. I'm not claiming nobody that don't want me. If you go and marry somebody else, you think I'm going to get on national t television, TV. I would be scared to tell my own mama that I felt a certain kind of way that a man left me and went to marry somebody else. And I feel a certain kind of way about it as a woman. I don't think I, I but Hey, we're making TV here. Remember, this is a TV show. So people do all kinds of stuff, but I, I don't think I would make it my storyline, my life's mission to try to tear down Moses and 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 and, um, and and Sonny in a marriage, I wouldn't. They already married. Now, if they wasn't married, we might have had a great show. May the best woman win. I would have been here for it. I would have actually probably tuned in to watch that one. Like, hold on a second. We got a real life The Bachelor going on, right? But Mary, it's nothing to see. It's nothing to watch. She, and then I think I seen a clip on 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 Instagram. She said I was so hurt. Listen to her having, talk about having a baby with my ex. Girl, that's your ex. Why are you worried about your ex? Who worries about the exes? Most of us, they became an ex for a reason, I thought, right? It, it was something that didn't work out within whatever it was. So why would we care, whatever the case may be, unless you married? And my story is for another day. I got an ex, but I, I was married for 17 years. I'm in that thing. I'm in the middle of all his mess. I can tell you all that for free. I want to be a part of it. We dating somebody together. Me, you, and the kids. We we all go together. 17 years? I got something to say. I'm allowed to say something. 17 years. Girl, you dated somebody. You ain't getting no ring. You didn't get married. Where, what? Leave Sonny alone. And if they continue on with this show, because I don't know what they're going to do, leave Sonny alone. Can we hear more about what Sonny and Moses got going on? And no disrespect to you, Sonny, because I got two eyes. Moses is fine. Can y'all show more of what Moses and Sonny got going on as a black couple? Can we see how they're going to build their life? Can we can we see what businesses they got going on? Can we hear them talk about if they're going to have some kids or if they're not going to have some kids? Can we meet their family members? Because they from St. Louis, and St. Louis is kind of like our cousins from Detroit. And so, you know, when you get Detroit, Chicago... Uh, Indiana, St. Louis together. We just make magic, okay? We just different breeds of people. I would like to meet some of their family members because I'm pretty sure they got a couple cousins and aunties that people on TV would probably like to meet 
if you gave them the opportunity. It's a big mama somewhere, and there's something that could be more to them. You get what I'm saying? Then us just going back and forth on who stole who man, because ain't nobody stolen. Ain't. Look at me. I'm talking crazy. There isn't anybody stolen because the man chose. So that's that situation. Now, let's get to respectable cheating. Respectable cheating. We're about to get to respectable cheating. We're going to get to... I'm not going to drink no more alive because I'm going to be up all night. All I can say is... Can you pause for the cause, go to my LinkedIn, and just pick anything. You can purchase some alive. You can get three bottles. You can get the the uh, the liquid collagen, make your skin amazing, have some great sex. The red bottle work for good, for inflammation. If your money is funny right now, you and your friends, y'all all just put $50 together. That's three bottles right there, y'all. Because if you bought it, like, for the real price, it like, for three bottles, it'd be close to three hundred dollars it's 150 dollars like for me great sex would be worth 150 dollars i don't know what y'all got going on but if you told me i could pay 150 dollars and my skin was gonna look good and i was gonna have great sex and my mood was gonna be amazing and i wasn't gonna have no hot flash and i would have great energy i i would throw you a few hundred to get that okay because i'm a woman so I know what that feels like, okay? So go click one of them links, or you can always slide in my DM, and then I'll holler at you about it. Respectable cheating. It's the most goofiest, asinine, craziest thing that I ever heard in my life. Now, again, you know what Destiny was trying to do? Destiny was trying to play male. She was trying to embarrass male, and it kind of made her look stupid. Because I'm going to break this down for you because I have to help the people that don't have like good listening, constructive listening. What Destiny said was, if you listen, I, I watched you talk to the person who was sleeping with your husband. Now, let me help you out, Destiny, because I don't think you've ever been married, but I have. And I've been in like a long relationship. Baby, when you hurt, when something happening, you want to find out all, all the pieces of the puzzle. And one thing for sure and two things for certain is you know, don't take the man's whatever he talking about face value. You need to talk to that, that woman. What you, you need to know what he was telling her. You need to know how, what, when, where, how it started, when it started, what was going on. There are certain questions as a woman I think we all can attest to it. Can we drop some badges, buy a t-shirt that if you are a woman and you ever been cheated on and you had the opportunity to speak to the person who your significant other, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever was cheating with. I just need y'all. I want y'all to drop it in the chat. I ain't going to pay attention. I just want to make sure I'm not crazy. Drop a a fire emoji in, in the chat if you would have wanted the opportunity to speak to that person. Just drop some fire on the thing. If you found out somebody was cheating, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whomever, and you had that person's phone number or they called you by mistake or whatever the case may be. See, male's a Scorpio like me. Some of y'all, if a woman call y'all, Y'all can't even find out what's going on because y'all are busy screaming and yelling and arguing and acting crazy. But if Mel is anything like me, I'm pretty sure Mel's posture on this thing was like, for real? Okay, girl. So y'all was mean? Really? Where was y'all mean that, girl? Oh, y'all met on Tuesday at 5 o'clock. Okay. Girl. What car was he driving? Interesting. Okay. So when he showed up, he was show. Why nobody talking about no respectable cheating? Why nobody? Why nobody talking about no respectable cheating? And if you marry, especially for folks that's been married, you need to know enough of the story so you can make an education educated decision on if you stand or not. Because see, sometimes 
times in life, I know people be like, oh, cheating is not a mistake and da-da-da-da-da-da-da, child. Men and women, we all make mistakes. Now, depending on what kind of person you are, depending on what you're going to discount as a mistake, not a mistake, it ain't our business. But when you talk about having children and building businesses together and your life is intertwined, you want to make sure that you make sure that you make sure that you know that you know that you know that ain't nobody lying, that didn't nobody make it up, that you have concrete evidence and proof of what it is that you need in order for you to make an informed decision. So I can bet my bottom dollar, my last dime, my last name, that yes, Mel probably did talk to that girl on the phone and probably more than once. But what I could promise you was she wasn't talking on the phone trying to teach nobody how to respectfully cheat with their husband. And here's where people get it messed up at when we make comments like that. And when I say we, again, I was a person that was married a long time. I made the statement a million times. I think I said this on a podcast with Willie Moore Jr. before when I talked about my ex. I said, you know what? I don't know if my ex ever cheated on me. I said, but this is what I can say. If he did, he respected me a whole lot when he was cheating. When a person says that, what we're saying is that whoever was doing that act knew better or respected you enough to make sure that they was hiding so you you didn't figure it out. Because there's a certain thing of just being disrespectful. Some people cheat and they don't care. And if you find out, so what? And I'm going to leave my phone there and I'm going to buy people gifts and I'm going to let people call you and talk to you crazy and disrespect you and all of that or that's somebody that's disrespectful. So I think when a person or when married people or when conversations began to happen, when they'd be like, well, there's a such thing as, you know, like respect, respectful cheating or whatever. It's not uh, It's saying that whomever is doing that respects that even though they're doing something wrong, they still have some kind of respect for who it is. I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. What my ex says, 17 years, I don't know what that man did. I don't. I don't know. But this is what I do know. And I stand 10 toes down and I celebrate him often. Didn't nobody come to no, no game talking crazy to me. No Instagram, no Facebook, no Twitter, no tweet, no knock at my front door. Nobody came to me in a restaurant. Nobody ran up on me. So, hey, what, what, what can I say? Hey, I can't say if he did or what he didn't do. What I can tell you is it didn't come to me. Nobody said nothing to me. Nobody pulled up on me. My lights always stayed on. My kids was well taken care of. So I don't know. So when a person speaks like that, especially married people, and my comments stopped. I can't even see y'all comments no more. I did that last time. Whenever a person speaks about marriage and they speak about respect, that's what they talking about. It's not, oh, I'm going to teach some woman to, how to to go and, and cheat with my... That don't even make sense, girl. It's like, at this point, I really feel like she was just saying anything. Like, I really feel like, like this girl was just saying anything so she can get some sound bites or so y'all could do what y'all do, what I'm doing right now. We all talking about her. She wins, we lose. She wins. She wins. She is winning because she disturbed my whole day. I ain't going to lie. She disrupted my whole flow. So much so, I got to repost. My, my, my best friend does what's called sound baths. For all of you Christians that are like, oh, that's not Christian. It is. They're not doing nothing. Sound baths are when you're in the water and you float and they play these sound bowls and they play music. And it's supposed to take you to your ultimate form of relaxation, right? I needed a sound bath. All of, like, I, I needed to go meditate after all of this. I needed to go to a place where I could just calm myself. Because I'm like, this can't be real life. Like, this girl can't be real. I wish I could see the comments. Oh, my gosh. What else was I supposed to talk about? Because I think we almost 
but we about to wrap this thing up because I don't want to talk about this no more. And if you follow my page and you came to my page to get all the gossip. Oh, here's another thing I forgot because I said I was going to bring this up. Everybody keeps saying new friend, new friend. Where did I come from? Me and male friends. Da 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 da. Do y'all realize I tried to trace it back? I got because again, I'm the 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 receipt person. I have text messages going all the way back as far as 2017. With who a new friend? I'm a new friend. Me, me. I'm a new friend. I'm a knowing male, and I know it's past 2017, but that's that's the proof that I have. Me and Mel didn't become friends. You know how some people meet and they become friends because, oh, you on TV. I'm on TV. Let's be friends. Not. Mel wasn't even on TV then. I think when I was looking through my messages, didn't love and marriage start like 2018, I think. I, whenever it started, I wasn't. Me and her were friends way before this TV show. So this narrative of, oh, they became friends because of TV. Not. We were friends way before TV. That's the same way uh, Monique and Phaedra are friends. They was friends before Phaedra was on Housewives. Like, what, like people become friends and then people elevate in life and then you still remain friends. And then just because you don't see them in every aspect of their life. Like, I just introduced y'all. Well, my best friend, y'all see her all the time on my page. Y'all know how many friends I have from grad school? People I worked with in sports management, people when I lived in Chicago, I lived in, most people don't know, I lived in Louisiana, shout out to Baton Rouge. I've lived in a lot of places. I've lived in, I have friends everywhere. Mel is not a, a new friend. Oh, this is what I want to say. It came to me. Thank you, Jesus, because my notes. Tisha said the most profound thing at that table that I ever heard in my entire life. Y'all ready for it? Destiny is hurt. It's the most profound thing that was said at that table that made sense. Tisha said, destiny is hurt. Destiny is hurt that male is not her friend no more and not paying her attention. This is where all of this comes from. When Tisha said that, praise God, Tisha, that was one of the greatest things that came out of your mouth. That girl is hurt. You want to know why she hurt? You know why people hurt? When you lose a good friend. If you ever lost a good, good friend, good boyfriend, good girlfriend, it hurt bad. It hurt bad when you go outside and you realize that you didn't find nobody that's like your friend. Let me tell you why. Because Mel is my friend. And one thing for sure, and two things for certain is Mel is a great friend. She's a good friend. She gonna support whatever you got going on. She is a Scorpio like me. She is pulling up. She can talk like this Ah, she want to. Mel not playing no games. So if Mel is your friend and something happened, she come, Mel has gotten in the car and drove from Huntsville to Atlanta about me. That, that That's what kind of friend that is she didn't say baby there's no more flights flying from Huntsville I'm not coming she didn't say oh I, I don't even think Mel traveled with security that day she didn't say oh I don't have security matter of fact I asked her who she came with I don't think she even rode with nobody when she pulled up on me that's the kind of friend you have I, I, Mel is the friend where when like I, I told somebody I said never count my money to you count my responsibilities, right? And when you have multiple children and you got multiple things going on and you're running businesses and y'all don't know about businesses and you're trying to pay payroll and you're trying to donate to kids in Africa, sometimes you don't get to do what you want to do for yourself. As good as it look, as much money as you're making. And I remember one time Mel made me cry so bad because Going out to eat with my kids is almost somebody's mortgage or car note, okay? When you have that many children and you go out to eat, it's not a game, okay? I don't know if y'all ever watched her go out to eat with Sugar Mama and all of them, but when you raise kids like that, they want to go out and they want crab legs and they will sit down and order lobster 
and lamb chops and, you know, going out turns into a movie. And I just know my friend, she heard in a conversation, I'm like, girl, I got to do this. I got to do this. I'm working on this project. I got to do that. My phone goes, ding, take them kids to dinner. Mel done sent, and I'm not exaggerating, Mel done sent $1,000. Talking about, oh, I already know your kids eat. Y'all go ahead and go to Benahana's. She know what it is. My kids sit down, they order appetizers, all of them. They want sushi rolls. They want shrimp tempura. They want this, this, and that. Then when they come around, they want an ocean treasure. Can I get the two double lobster tails with with the steak? With the I, Then after they they done with that, oh, by the way, we want some desserts. And then I be trying to teach my kids some restaurants you go to, the refills are not free. My my children will, um, what's some things called? Shirley Temple, you to death. And, you know, sometimes when you go places and they make the little stupid Shirley Temple, it'd be $12, 13 $14. And you're sitting there at the table with a kid and they don't order two, three, four, five of them. You're like, you know, these drinks not free, right? That's the kind of friend I got. My friend has supported every business, every business that I have. When it comes to Africa, for those of you who donated, your money is going where it said. Me and Mel just talked about, man, trying to work out a schedule to get two people to go to Africa at the same time who have children who's shooting a TV show that's running business, it's hard. But trust, know, and believe, there's a water project in Ghana with Mel's name on it. And we're going to go see it, touch it, feel it, and everybody that donate is going to get a plaque from it. She didn't have to support that business. She did. My friend came on here and was like, y'all better drink alive. And I was like, okay, where's my thing? I told, look at this. I ordered mine. This is what friends do. Friends support each other. My friend was on TikTok the other day like, hey, I, I ain't even open it yet. Let me open it. She was like, oh, I'm doing a special on body scrubs for travel. I was like, yes, girl, I'm getting ready to travel. I was so happy because I'm one of the people I hate checking bags if I can. So my bags be heavy. And now I used to get mad because I had to check my bag because of the scrub because a lot come in shots now. I don't have no shots next to me, but it come in shots. But I remember I used to, have to check my bag just 